I got to ask this question. How can I collect information for the uh, attendees of my Zoom webinar? Let me show you how you do that in this video. So I've got a test webinar that I've created and you'll notice that it's recurring seven times. And this is important. It's got to be a recurring webinar with specific dates and times for you to be able to ask registration questions. Let me show you how you do it. Typically, you think the way to do it is to uh, go to the webinar and hit edit, but that's not how you do it. You click on the webinar and you bring the webinar details up and then you scroll past the top section and you come down here under invitations and here's registration settings. In registration settings, you can see allow panels to join from multiple devices. So you've got the basics here. Now I have to I hit the edit button and go into more details. And you'll see that this is the, the general registration options you have here. You have registration, approval, notifications, et cetera, et cetera. Even tracking pixels if you want tracking pixels. Uh, you, can, you can adjust that, but let's go to questions. You can see I can ask, you know, what city are you in? I can make that required or not. I can ask them for their phone number, required or not, job title, et cetera, et cetera, what company they're in, if I want that. And then I can also go over here to custom. Let's see, do I need to hit save all first? I think I can go to custom questions. And in custom questions, I can ask uh, specific questions. A short answer, one of my questions I ask all the time is what is your LinkedIn profile URL? I ask that question, I can create that. I can ask another question. I can ask, you know, uh, are you a business developer? Uh, now actually I can, go, I can make that uh, multiple answers. Let me see, are you a business developer? I gotta learn how to spell. Developer, I can say uh, yes, no, uh, if I want to, and do create, I think I can skip the third one. And so those are my two questions I can ask more. I don't know what the limit is, but you want to be purposeful about asking very specific questions, and you don't want to ask everything because that might turn off people from wanting to register for your webinar. So be very deliberate. And then hit save all. And now here's the registration link. So now when people go, go to that registration link, I'm opening that up for you, put that in here. You'll see that these are the dates that are open. This is where I do first name, last name, email address, city, phone. I ask for city, phone, and organization. And then I ask for very specific uh, custom questions here. LinkedIn profile URL was required. So I just put that in there. And then are you a business developer, yes or no? And then I can register. So registration is a really useful tool uh, for webinars. But again, you can't have registration unless you have a webinar or webinars, if it's a campaign with multiple events, that have specific dates and times for the webinar. I'm Teddy. I'm a LinkedIn and Google Workspace dude, but I love Zoom webinars and thought this might be helpful for you.